Hello, I'm Laura Chevalier, a developer relations engineer on the Google Ads API. Welcome to the first episode of our developer mini-series on testing your Google Ads API integration. In this episode, you'll get an introduction to test accounts and test account alternatives. In the next episode, we'll walk through an example of using test accounts in practice. And last, but certainly not least, we'll discuss some best practices for testing your integration. Let's start with the basics. What is a test account? A test account is a special type of Google Ads account meant to help you with testing and development of your API integration. Unlike production accounts, test accounts do not serve ads and they don't enable billing. They exist totally separate from production accounts and require their own hierarchy with a test manager account as the root. On the sign-in screen of the UI, test accounts appear with a status of closed and they have a status of canceled on the accounts page. So make sure you adjust your filtering settings to view your test accounts. You can always tell if you're signed into a test account in the Ads UI by the red test account identifier in the top right corner, which is true for both manager and client accounts. So why might you want to use test accounts? First off, test accounts allow you to experiment with the API before your developer token is approved. Dev tokens with test account access can't make API calls on production ads accounts, but they can access test accounts. Because they're totally separate from serving accounts, test accounts provide a safe sandbox to test code and configuration changes. Although they're distinct from serving ads accounts, test accounts face the same restrictions like rate limits so that you can create an environment similar to production accounts. Lastly, test account hierarchies are structured in the same way as production account hierarchies, so they make a useful sandbox for organizational changes. Note, however, that test manager account hierarchies can contain up to 50 test accounts. While useful, test accounts do have limitations. Test accounts do not serve ads or generate serving data, which means search and search stream requests will not generate any metrics data, such as impressions, conversions, cost per click, and other cost and performance data. In addition, test accounts do not have access to all Google Ads features, including billing, bid simulations, and conversion uploads. Other features, like recommendations, have limited functionality within test accounts because of the lack of serving data. When the limitations of test accounts prevent you from testing features in your integration, consider using a low-budget production account for development. Unlike test accounts, production accounts serve ads and generate serving metrics for reports. They also make all features available, where test accounts have some limitations on the feature set. However, production accounts can't be used without an approved developer token, and because they serve ads, there is some associated cost. They also require real campaigns and URLs to serve, and must comply with advertising policies. Because production accounts have real-world impact, exercise caution when using them for testing and development. We recommend that you limit access to these accounts to only those users that need them for testing purposes, and set a fixed, low daily account budget. Finally, only use production accounts for development as a last resort when test accounts can't be used. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next episode, where I'll show you how to set up and use test accounts in practice. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.